Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Mitch Tabian. This is another Android Studio tutorial. In my last tutorial, I gave a little demonstration on a cloud-based login and register. So this is going to be the first part of that, that tutorial. Uh, so basically what I'm going to show you how to do is how to register a domain, how to create an application that can access that domain using PHP, and uh, how to use a MySQL database. So how it's going to work is you're going to have an application over here that's going to send data to PHP, to a PHP file, and that PHP file is going to talk to the database or deposit data into the database, and then the uh, database will be able, the PHP file will be able to, to access the database and then send data to back to the Android application. So the, the way that the data is sent back to the Android application is usually a specially formatted string. For those of you who are a little bit more experienced, it's usually a JSON or JSON data structure. But I'm going to keep it simple and just kind of output a very simple data structure and interpret that with the Android application. And just sort of a disclaimer, I think I mentioned this in the introductory video, but you're not going to need any knowledge on PHP, any knowledge on MySQL, or any knowledge on databases to be able to follow along with this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do everything. So if that sounds like uh, something you want to learn how to do, then keep watching. It's going to cover a lot of topics, so you're going to learn a lot of a lot of really cool stuff. <clears throat> so what do we got to do first? We got to register the domain. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is just go to hostgator.com. Hostgator doesn't doesn't pay me, by the way. I just this is just what I like to use for web hosting. So you just go to hostgator.com, hit get started now, choose a plan, sign up now cheap one and just follow just fill out all this and register your register your, your domain name to pick, pick anything register a username pick a password and once that's all done what I'll get you to do is I think like what, what you should do is I looked around for the control panel link but I couldn't find it I think you, you go to like customer portal and you find it through there but I'll just give you the link so you don't gotta look for it just type this in and this is going to be your cPanel login. This is going to be your username that you registered with HostGator and use your password, login. And this is this gives you all the options that come along with your domain that you own. There's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff for four bucks a month. Pretty pretty cool. So the first thing we'll do is go down to PHP my admin. This is going to be your MySQL database. So here's your MySQL database. Um, so yeah, the first thing we got to do is actually create a new user. So go back to your control panel, go to MySQL databases right here, and I think the page that pops up, I think this is going to look a little different for you the first time. You might have to pick this name, um, but either way, I'll, I'll kind of just walk you through it here. So yeah, the first thing you got to do is create a new user. So just scroll down, go to MySQL users, create a new user. Um, you can see my users I just called. Mitch or Blake, you can see here. So just pick something that you you want. Uh, get a password. Make sure you remember it. Hit create user. Then you need to create a database. So you go up here to create a new database. I just named my database DB, as you can see here. And I have DB1 and I have YouTube. But so just name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Hit create database. And then once you've created a user and created a database, you have to attach the two. So you go down here to add a user to a database, pick the user, and then attach it to a database and click add. Once that's done, it'll show up in this table here. So you have a database name and you have the privileged user that's attached to that database. And so then once that's all done, we can finally go to the MySQL database and we can create a table. So we'll go, I'm gonna use this, this database here and go to create new. And I'm going to create a users table. And we'll have an ID, have an auto increment, have a name category, and have an email category, and password, obviously. Okay, I think that should be good. Hit save. So now we can check out our users table by clicking here, or you can click here. Doesn't matter. Go to structure. And here's the uh, database structure. 
So if you guys are if you guys are too cheap, even though I, I definitely see the value in doing this for only four bucks, like you get a lot of options. You get to be able to play with a database and learn how SQL works and all that. But if you're cheap and I'm I'm cheap too, but I think four bucks is a good investment. You can actually do this for free. Um, and I'll sh I'll make I'll make another video after this one that you can just kind of skip if if you're not interested in learning how to do it for free. But basically, you can host a server on your computer and you, you have the exact same interface you're going to create a, a uh, MySQL database but you're going to host it yourself so it's free but like I said I there's definitely definitely value in buying your own domain you can create like your own custom email like I have like I have Mitch at Tavian.ca but yeah so if, if um, other than that we're pretty much ready to go in the next video I'm going to show you how to write all the PHP files that connect the database to the Android application. So I'll see you guys in the next video.